Hi you guys, Mr. Galan here. Welcome to Art Trek. We're in the gallery space. You can see my Benti, my Fernando Cottontail, and some of the artwork I've been working on um, these past few days. Today we're going to talk about Ladera's tile wall. I'm going to be giving you instructions on how to use the materials to create your tile and to return your tile to Art Trek so that we can fire it, which just means we put it in a big oven, it um, melts, gets all shiny when we take it out, you have your beautiful shiny ceramic tile, and then we'll install it at your school. So you've got your tile, you got a blank piece of paper, your first thing you're going to do with a pencil is just trace your tile onto your piece of paper. So first thing you want to do is think about what kind of building or house am I making in my garden. So I'm going to create a little sketch and maybe mine has grass everywhere. I know I want grass. I know I want a house that maybe looks like an upside down trapezoid or a cupcake or something. Now that I have my final sketch, we're going to go to our tile. I'm going to copy my sketch onto this tile. What you don't want to do is draw small, right? If you look at my example, I filled up this entire space. When I'm going to copy my item on here, I'm going to do the same thing, add my grass in, right? Make my house. Maybe this has a chimney I decided to add extra. While I'm drawing on my tile, it's really, really important that you do not erase, okay? Your eraser is not your friend on this tile. Why? Because the eraser acts like a resist, and you don't want to add any material from your eraser on your tile, or it's going to ruin the tile when we stick it in the oven or when we put paint on it, okay? Don't use your eraser. So the next thing we're going to talk about is how to use the glaze, right? How do we paint our tile with glaze? And what is glaze? So you should have received a styrofoam plate and a paintbrush. At home, you can use a cup, fill it with water, paper towel. You also have glazes. They came in these little tubes with a clip on them. Keep this clip. You're going to need it to return your stuff later, your glazes later. So, You'll notice on these glazes that you're just going to cut off the top. You can try and rip it or cut with scissors. And it's really important that you use a small amount of glaze on your styrofoam plate at a time. So you're pouring out your paint or your glaze on your styrofoam plate. You're adding a very little to your plate. And then you're going to be using that glaze to paint your tile. So what is glaze? What are we using? Glaze is not necessarily, it's not paint, right? It's paint for ceramic tiles, right? And how that works is it's made up of minerals. It's made up of tiny fine particles of glass. And the minerals is what creates the pigment or the color to your glaze. So with this glaze, you have several different colors. You don't want to mix colors, right? So I'm going to show you how to use your brush real quick. You're going to dunk your brush in water, wipe off the excess on the rim of your cup. Notice how I'm turning it back and forth, I'm turning it over, and then you're going to dab on your paper towel. Does everyone know how to dab? Oh, look at that. So you dab, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Once you've dabbed off the excess water on your paper towel, you're going to dunk your brush in your tiny amount of glaze that you put out, and you're going to start to paint your tile, okay? Paint your tile, cover the whole entire thing. Cover your whole entire top surface of your tile. Don't paint the sides of your tile. You don't want to put glaze on the sides or on the bottom of your tile either. And here's why. Think of this as it's going into an oven. All of these minerals and powdery glass is going to melt from the heat. And wherever it melts, it's going to stick once it starts drying. And if you have stuff on the bottom, it's almost going to be like a glue and it's not going to be able to come off the oven. So only put glaze on the surface. If you want something to be white, 
you don't use any glaze on it at all. You leave it the color of this tile and the tile will end up turning white later on. If you covered your tile with your glaze, you're gonna let it dry, the whole entire thing, let it dry, and then you're gonna go over it one more time with a second coat of glaze. A second coat of glaze, and that'll ensure it's thick enough. So I have an example of a glazed tile here. And with this glaze tile, I'm gonna to talk to you about how we're gonna return all of our materials. Use that clip that we gave you, that was provided, and you're gonna clip the top, and that's what's gonna seal these glazes, okay? And you'll return it in a baggie that has been provided for you. There's two bags that have been provided for you. One Ziploc bag is for your glaze. The other bag, is going to be for your tile that you're gonna to return to us. I want you to put the actual tile in the bag. You're going to write your name on this bright pink slip that says return tile bag. Write your name, mine says Mr. Galan. Put this in here as well. And the last thing I want to put in here is my original sketch. Don't lose this sketch. The reason being is that an employee here at Art Trek, once they receive your tile, we have the job of outlining your tile. All those lines you've created, we're going to outline them with black to make your tile really pop. And in order to do that, we need to see what your original sketch is because sometimes when you look at a tile with glaze all over it, it can be hard to tell what is what. And we don't want to be guessing the shape of your flower. We want to see your image and be like, oh, this flower was round for sure. And we're going to outline with black for you. Okay? So that was our last step. You'll package this in a Ziploc bag and then you're going to return it. You'll fold this up, fold up your little image sketch, put it in the Ziploc bag with everything else, and then we are done. I just want to say again that I hope you're all doing well and that you are safe. You're practicing social distancing. This is Mr. Galan from Art Check. We'll see you soon.